Hi everyone. Hold on, let me take this on my real Firefox phone. Hello? Awesome. Later. Yes, this is a real Mozilla Firefox phone. Why would Firefox want to make a phone? Because every other web developer is doing it, so why not? As if Google, Apple, and Windows wasn't enough, Mozilla, the makers of the Firefox web browser, has decided to create a new mobile operating system codenamed Gecko. Because Mozilla has actually released a test version of their operating system that runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows with a little bit of tweaking. So needless to say, that's going to be this weekend's project. If you have Mac or Linux, you can follow the instructions laid out at the link below. Otherwise, if you have Windows, then you need to go to this Mozilla wiki page and jump down to where it says Desktop Builds Now Available and click the FTP link. Find the latest release of the us.win32.zip file and download it to your computer. Unzip all the files, and if you were to open up the folder, you'd see a b2g.exe file inside of it. In theory, you should just be able to double click on this to launch the program, but doing so just gives you a black screen. This is because it assumes that you're a Mozilla developer with the Mozilla development kit installed on your computer and a profile created. But we don't have this, and without a profile, it's not going to run properly. Not to worry, if you click on the wiki link below, you'll find a link to a virus-free Gaia profile that you can download and use. Unzip it and place the Gaia profile folder inside your B2G folder. One last step. Right click on the b2g.exe file and select create shortcut and in the target text box add dash profile and then the path to your Gaia profile folder in quotes. Now double click on the shortcut and voila! You should see the Firefox OS interface. Keep in mind that this is only a test release and while some features may work, most of them don't. So if you're not an early adopter that likes to be on the cusp of technology, then you probably have no need to do this. Once you've had a chance to play around with it, feel free to give me your thoughts on how you think the Firefox operating system compares with other mobile operating systems. Alright, for more tutorials, feel free to check out my channel or my website. And until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.